and for today's video, I will discuss the basic concepts of technical drafting. So make sure to watch the video from start to finish. And if you have questions later, you may leave a comment and I will try my best to answer them. Technical drafting is the act and discipline of composing plans that visually communicate how something functions or has to be constructed. Drafting is the visual language of industry and engineering. A drafter, draftsperson, or draftsman is a person who makes a drawing, and a professional drafter who makes technical drawings is sometimes called a drafting technician. People who communicate with technical drawings may use technical standards that define practical symbols, perspectives, units of measurement, notation systems, visual styles, or layout conventions. These enable a drafter to communicate more concisely by using a commonly understood convention. Together, such conventions constitute a visual language and help to ensure that the drawing is unambiguous and relatively easy to understand. So, the history of technical drawing began in principle in the 15th century after Christ. Today's best-known representative was Leonardo da Vinci with his many inventions like the chain of links and war machines. The fundamental basic knowledge of geometry was even before the birth of Christ by mathematicians such as Pythagoras of Samos or Euclid of Alexandria discovered and explored. Technical drawing is not a new concept. Archaeological evidence suggests that humans first began creating crude technical drawings several thousand years ago. Through the ages, architects and designers, including Leonardo da Vinci, created technical drawings. However, a French mathematician Gaspard Monge is considered by many to be the founder of modern technical drawing. Monge's thoughts on the subject Geometry Descriptive or Descriptive Geometry, published around 1799, became the basis for the first university courses. In 1821, the first English language text on technical drawing treatise on descriptive geometry was published by Claudius Crozet, a professor at the U.S. Military Academy. There are also other terms often used to describe the creation of technical drawings. Let's start with drafting. Drafting is common to all manufacturing and construction activities. The drafter interprets the engineer's ideas, presenting them in the language of manufacturing and construction. It is defined as a descriptive way to deliver an idea with the use of illustrations and drawing that show in detail the process of creating the idea into reality. Mathematics and science are the foundation from which drafters work. Second is engineering graphics. Engineering graphics is the creation of engineering drawings. These are representations of physical objects or locations on paper or what we call the two-dimensional or three-dimensional or electronic format. In a typical introductory engineering graphics course, it covers the basics of drawing view creation or the left side and right side and presentation of lines, hidden, no hidden, and projections such as isometric. The third one is engineering drawings. Engineering drawings is a technique of creating graphical representation that contains all necessary information such as dimensions, specifications, and notes, using which an abstract concept can be transformed into real-world objects. Some important concept of engineering drawing is like projection. The word projection means to throw forward. It is a process of plotting an object in an imaginary plane. The last one is computer-aided design or what we call the CAD. 
CAD refers to the use of computer software that supports the design process. The software helps us create, modify, analyze, and enhance a design. In other words, CAD is a software that helps us design things. CAD software replaces drafting by hand with an automated process. So this ends our video. Make sure to check my other videos for more discussions. I hope you learned something today. Thank you and God bless.